Hello, I am Dr. Sampurna Ghosh, I am ENT consultant in Medicova, Hyderabad. Today I am going to talk about how the ear works, what is the mechanism of hearing, how a hearing aid works and what is the role of cochlear implant. So to understand how these devices work, first we have to understand the normal physiology of ear in a simplified way. Human ear has three basic parts. So this is the outer ear canal which ends with the eardrum and then there is a space called middle ear and this is the blue portion is the inner ear. How the sound travels? The sound is nothing but a vibration energy. So it travels and hits the eardrum and the same vibration will be carried out by these three tiny bones in the middle ear and then it will reach the inner ear. The inner ear has some fluid inside with the vibration the fluid will move and that movement will be sensed by this particular membrane. This is the anatomy of the inner ear. Cochlea or inner ear is a structure with two and a half turn and if we examine the cross section it has three chambers within it and this particular membrane is called basilar membrane. Look at the membrane here. It has some specific cells called outer hair cells from where the nerve fibers will start and they ultimately will unite to make the cochlear nerve. This cell has a magical role to do. It can convert the mechanical energy which comes as a vibration that is the sound into a signal which the nerves can understand and can carry out to the brain. So this cell is very very important in the whole sound uh, transmission mechanism. With this background knowledge, now we will try to understand what is the role of hearing aids and cochlear implant. Hearing aid work as an amplification uh, machine. So whatever sound is coming, it can receive that and amplify to certain extent according to the hearing impairment of the person and deliver the same sound in the ear. But cochlear implant completely works on a different principle. So imagine where a child is born where the outer hair cells are not functioning properly. That means the sound is going up to the inner ear, but it is not getting converted into the signal which the nerve can carry. What is the role of hearing aids there? However amplification it may give, if the outer hair cell is not functioning, the nerves cannot pick up that signal and the brain is not receiving any signal. So there is the role of cochlear implant because it can deliver the signal directly into the nerve, bypassing the inner ear, bypassing the defective outer hair cell. So let us see that how the electrodes goes into the inner ear and how it transmits the signal. So here we are seeing the parts of cochlear implant, which has an outer device. Uh, this is called the audio processor. And this is the inside device, which will be implanted into the skull. And this is the uh, implant receiver. From here starts the electrode. So this outer processor will receive the sound and will send it to this inner receiver implant. This will convert the sound energy into the electrical pulses which will be carried out by this tiny delicate electrode and the electrode will cover the whole length of the cochlea up to its apex. If we see the cross section of cochlea we have a magnified view here we will understand even better. So as I told you, cochlea has three chamber. This is the lowest chamber called scalar tympani. So that this active electrode actually passes through the scalar tympani. And here are the nerve fibers. So they are in constant touch with these nerve fibers. They can deliver the electrical impulse directly into the nerve. That is how it can bypass the defective outer hair cell. It is very important that the electrode should cover at least uh, up to the second turn, if possible, the whole length of the cochlea, that will give a better hearing result because each area of the cochlea is responsible for different frequency of sound. And this is the reason why a person who has lost hearing due to genetic disease or due to age, ototoxic drug, where the outer hair cell is not functioning as in adult postlingual hearing loss, hearing aid is not giving benefit anymore, cochlear implant can work there. They can directly stimulate the nerve fibers. The same thing applied for the congenitally hearing impaired children who can't hear and that is why who are not language learning capacity is poor. They can also benefit from cochlear implant where there is limitation of the hearing aid.